Hi. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Um, okay, so today we're going to talk about something I find a little exciting, and that is that there is a new trend in applying your blush. Yes, a new trend. So we've been applying brush, blush our whole lives, right? But um, generally, uh, we would apply our blush to the apples of our cheeks, right? So right now I don't have any blush on. I did do my contour uh, three shape, right? Um, but I don't have any blush on. So we're gonna talk about two ways. The regular way, like that I've always done it. And then we're gonna talk about this new way. And I'll just show you the difference. So you have to, um, we're doing the bun <laughs> today because uh, our, we're having hot water heater issues and I don't want to take a cold shower. So Steve's outside uh, now working on the hot water heater electrical to see if that's the issue. But anyway, all that to say, uh, I do have a bun, but I figured while I'm committed to a bun today, we might as well do blush, right? Because my hair is pulled back. So that's what we're doing. So, okay. Um, first, I'm going to show you how we normally do it, right? This is how everybody does it. You apply it to the apples of your cheeks, right? Where your little apple is, right? And I have uh, fairly high cheekbones. Everybody's face, of course, is shaped differently. I have fairly high cheekbones and kind of a little um, bubble right here. So it's easy for me to find where that is. Okay, and then we just kind of smooth it back. Okay, that's the way I've always put my blush on. Um, but I recently watched a little tutorial, um, and I forgot her name, but I'll put a link um, below. Um, maybe, if I can find it again. <laughs> I watched a tutorial on YouTube and she talked about blush application and she did this side by side thing and I thought it was so great. I wanted to share it with you. Um, so here's the new method that you put your blush on back here, not up here, but back here. So we're just going to put it on back here and we don't even drag it forward. We just leave it back here. We can blend it right into our uh, contouring. Okay. So now, can you tell the difference? The lighting isn't identical on both sides of my face, so hopefully you can still see the difference. Can you see the difference? What do you prefer? I'm undecided, honestly. I feel like because I'm very fair, I like having a little more color up front. Um, but I do like this. I think it's like, it really accentuates this curve better than this side. Can you see that? So we have late, we have options, ladies. Options. Options are always good. So try it out both ways and see what you think. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of exciting. And of course, I'm gonna put a plug in for the Chroma Fusion blush because it is amazing. This color is shy blush. Love it. It's kind of it's got peach, pink, and gold tones in it so it's just a really luscious color I love it this is my favorite color one more thing I also haven't used eyeshadow today because I'm wearing this little pink top I was gonna use my chroma fusion blush as an eyeshadow so I just have primed my eyes with concealer and a little bit of setting powder and I'm just gonna use my blush as my eyeshadow today. I'm just gonna put it right in that crease. Blend it out really well. It's an easy look, right? Okay, so you can use one color. If you're traveling, use one color for everything. Who cares? <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I'll see you later. Bye.